Hello! Today you will see how to add a cinematic look to your images using GIMP 2.8. The image is going to look like this. Open GIMP and duplicate your image. Open Curves and select Red Channel. Create a S curve the way you see on the screen. Just create two points and pull one up and one down. Open green channel and create the same S curve. It doesn't have to be identical but very similar. Every image is different and has different colors in it so you need to adjust the curves according to your image. Open blue channel and make a bit different curve. You need to pull top part down and bottom part up. Open Hue Saturation tool and reduce your saturation to about 50% uh, to minus 50. But really look at your image and do it according to your preferences. Next go to Colors, Color Balance. Select Shadows and enter 10 for blue and minus 2 for cyan. I have to repeat myself and to remind you that you need to look at your image and adjust the numbers accordingly. Select highlights, enter minus 3 for yellow and 2 for cyan and make sure that preserve luminosity is checked because it gives you more contrast for the image. For the next step go to filters, noise, HSV noise. Change holdness to 4 and the rest leave at default. It will give us just a small delicate noise. Duplicate the layer you are working on. Next go to filters, blah, Gaussian blah. My image is 1400 pixels on the longest side and I'm entering 8 pixels for the blah and if you have a smaller image you need to enter a smaller number for the blah. Now we need to add some noise to this image. Go to filters, noise, HSV noise. Keep the same settings and press OK. Go again to HSV noise. Enter 6 for wholeness and press OK. Right click on the blurred layer, add layer mask and then select white full opacity. Take blend tool and the tool options set gradient foreground to transparency, shape to bilinear, repeat to none. Make sure that the mask is selected then pull a gradient to where your object is. As you see now a part of the sharp layer which is underneath became visible. You can pull the gradient a few times if you need to reveal more of the sharp layer. Next create a new transparent layer. Go to GEGL operation and select vignette. This time I'm not going to change any settings here and I'm going to press OK. Now I want to try to set this layer to overlay. No, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to set it now to grain merge. Because for this image grain merge mode used with vignette adds more drama to this image. I will just reduce the opacity to about 80% and I'm going to be done with vignette for now. Next create a new transparent layer, set your foreground color to white, take blend tool, set the transparent layer to overlay and opacity to about 47%. Then pull a gradient to brighten your object. As you see such a small step made my object really pop. 
Now you can flatten your image. I'm going to merge my layers because I want to show you later before and after. So to flatten image, go to image, flatten image. Now I'm going to create two black stripes like in the films. To do this you need to go to image, canvas size and we're going to increase it. I'm increasing the height of my image by about 300 pixels and set it to center. Create a new transparent layer and move this layer underneath your image. Set your foreground color to black, take bucket tool and fill the background with black color. Basically this is it, now I'm gonna show you before and after. As you see it changed quite a lot. And as a last step I'm going to flatten the image, so I'm going to image flatten image. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you enjoyed it.